Okay, so now, how do you assign homework for A-Day students and have the same assignment due on a different day for your B-Day students? Here is what you need to do. Yes, it does take an extra step, but it will clear up a great deal of confusion for your students. In order to do this, you are once again creating a custom activity, but this time, your custom activity must be created within your course tree, okay? It cannot be created within the planner. It must be created within your course tree. So I'm in my course. It could be within a specific folder if I wanted to. I'm going to press Add. I am still creating a custom activity and I'm going to give my assignment title, read pages 45 through 69. Okay, be ready for a quiz um, during your next class. Okay, we are going to set a deadline. Now I want you to think, let's prepare this for your A-Day course due date. So if I'm teaching this on the 18th, my due date for um, the next class would be on the 20th. Okay, mandatory yes, active yes, save. Now, once I've created my activity, I'm going to manage custom activity permissions. and I'm going to select participants for this activity. Since I just said this was created for my A-Day students, I need to select A-Day and add it and say save. I have just created an assignment for my A-Day students. Unfortunately, I have to go through that same process again for my B-Day students. So again, I'm going to add a custom activity, read pages, be ready for a quiz during the next class period. Okay, this one If the first assignment was due on the 20th, then this one would be due on the 21st. Mandatory, active, yes, save. And then again, manage custom activity permissions. Select participants for this activity. This is my B-Day class. I must say add and save. Now within my planner, once I have my, um, my topic is unit one, maybe I'm going to say lesson one, my outline, introduce new topics, um, outline vocab, blah, blah, blah. I click the date that it's going to be taught. This is going to be taught on the 18th. It's going to be finished teaching on the 19th, my A day, my B day. Over here, I'm going to select these right here. Remember, those are the ones I did. I'm going to select them right here and say add. Now, don't worry about those exclamation marks. It still shows up. I now have two assignments. One for my A day class, one for my B day class. I know it's an extra step, but it will really help your students clear up some of the clutter.